Hello there from Marathon, Texas. A town of just 365 people. What am I doing here? Well, my brother lives here. I came to come see my brother, see why he moved to a town with just 365 people. He's been here for, I think, two or three months now. He works at a, an old historical hotel here called the Gage Hotel. It's an old historical nice hotel that I think is the lifeblood of this small town. There's really not much to it. The hotel is kind of off in the distance over there. This area of Texas I've never been to. We're right next to Big Bend National Park. One of only two national parks here in Texas. We're right next to the Rio Grande. We're uh, really close to Mexico. I plan on going there on Thursday. Today is uh, Monday, so I'm gonna be here for a few days. I'm excited. I like coming to small towns like this, seeing what's around here. I like seeing what the the uh, the town is like, and that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a little bit of what I like to say in Indonesia, jalan jalan. We're just gonna walk around. We're gonna wander. We're gonna see some of uh, Marathon. I plan on staying a night or two at the Gage Hotel, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. No train coming? Good, good, good. One thing you'll notice out here very quickly is there's a, a lot of fierce looking plants out here. A lot of stuff that'll do a lot of damage. There's a lot of cactus. There's a lot of plants that have thorns that are good two inches long that'll easily pierce your skin. Woo! So even though the hotel is on the other side of the train tracks, on the other side of the road over here, they have what's called the Gage Gardens right over here. And I haven't been through here yet, so let's go have a look and see what it looks like. It looks like a oasis out here in the middle of the desert. But from what I understand, a lot of people come out to this area, come see the, you know, come check out the Gage Hotel because it is so nice, you know, and they have places like this. I imagine they have a lot of wedding receptions and events and, and all that kind of stuff out here. From what I understand, a lot of hunters come out here and because in this area, driving out this way from Lubbock, Texas, there is nothing but open desert land you know which kind of sucks in texas because all that land is someone's private property and so so much of texas is you know just empty and sparse and it's not like anyone can just go on to you know a lot of these lands which that's kind of beside the point but uh, a lot of people do come out here and do hunting on these ranches Nice day for a walk. Yes. It's beautiful. It places. It's is. really nice, huh? Yeah. I saw it on uh, Google Maps and I said, what is this in the middle of nowhere? Oh, are you uh, just passing through? Are you? Yeah. Okay. You're not, you're not staying at the Gage Hotel? No. No, just passing through? Yeah. How long does this little trail take? Just like my wife's over there, just a couple minutes. Just a couple minutes? Yeah. Huh. Very nice. Yeah, Where are y'all coming from? Minnesota, about a month ago we left. Minnesota. Uh-huh. A little oasis in the middle of nowhere. A little oasis in the middle of nowhere, huh? They were from Minnesota. See, so people from all over come down to this area. Go check out Big Bend National Park. Maybe you should, too. I'm, I'm guessing, you know, this is January. I'm guessing the park is a lot more lively and colorful in the, in the spring and summertime. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Like all these are in full bloom. and Yeah, everything... Usually about April, May, it starts really April, coming in. April, May is the yeah, time to be it. here. Have a good one. All right, you too. Thank you. Looks like over here they have a dog-friendly open area. Come take your dogs. Take them on a big loop. It's about one mile. Wow. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're just going to check out the garden real quick. And then I want to get out in the, in the sticks. 
I want to go check out some of these neighborhoods and see how the locals around here are living. Alrighty, so the Gage Gardens. Come check them out. I guess even if you're not even staying at the Gage Hotel and you're just passing through and you want to stretch the legs, go for a little walk in a nice garden, I'm guessing it's open to the public. So that's what they were doing. They were just passing through. And uh, yeah. Okay, let's go uh, check out some other stuff. Ah. Uh, Go go for a little walk in the garden. Yeah. Nice. Um, he's recording in the van. Oh. Yeah. Do you want to do like the out, just the outside or? Do you mind if I see the inside? What you, what your setups like? Uh, as much, it depends on when you want to start. Just with, uh, yeah, I don't mind. just real yeah. quickly. So, as I was leaving, I saw this couple over here, and I saw their really sweet van, and mm -hmm. I wanted to come say hi. And I'm sorry. What are your names? I'm Ezra. Ezra, Nick. Hey, Nick. Nice to meet you, and Mikey. Mikey. Yeah. And Nick. Nice to meet you. And <laughs> their, <laughs> this is their home. That's amazing. They've been doing this for three months. That's right. Wow. That's From Maryland. That's right. And where's y'all's final destination? We don't have one. Don't have one, huh? <laughs> That's awesome. That's incredible. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. And did y'all buy this fully? Uh, yeah, yeah, set up, this, I guess. Uh, company called Sequoia and Salt. Uh -huh. They did the builds for us. In New nice. Jersey, in New Jersey, a New Jersey company. Uh huh. And we're living in it full time. I guess you just work online. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's awesome. Can I peek inside? Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, it's a little bit of a mess because we're in like. No, well, that's the thing. There's a. Mode. Gotta watch my feet because there's so many stickers out here. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, there's stickers. Yeah, I mean, I was walking out over there and. Like literally stickers. There's stickers. Okay. <laughs> like. Yeah, <laughs> they're all over the place. I just want yeah, to peek yeah, inside. Right. Absolutely. That's everything you need, huh? Everything we need, yeah. Yeah, it's small, but it's good. Got your sink. Clothes over there. Uh huh. Kitchen stuff over here. Nice. Yeah. Pots and pans. That's a mess. Just like food. <laughs> a little bit of a mess, yeah. Our tiny fridge. This is our fridge. Not mm -hmm. a lot of space in our freezer. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Yeah. And Does the bed it. fold up to make a table no. or anything? No, no. It's just this a... is the table. It moves uh -huh. uh, to allow for like the bench on both sides. Nice. We call that the prison. This is the prison. That's the prison. <laughs> <laughs> Once the table's back there, you can't yep. move. Yeah. And then we have a garage underneath the bed with like all of our storage. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's basically it. That is awesome. Yeah. Brand new, huh? Brand yeah. new. Yeah. Brand new. I can smell it. it smells good. <laughs> wow. And so you just find parking lots and post up or. Campsites, Walmart's, really? campsites, whatever. It depends on where we're at. We're gonna spend like a week in Big Bend. Nice. So nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it changes a lot. Awesome. Well, good luck. Thank, Thank you. So you. And nice meeting you, nice meeting you too. Anyway. What's the best thing you got? Oh God. I guess our burgers. Burgers? <laughs> Burger sounds good. Alright, so I got my hamburger. <laughs> but it's just too damn windy outside. I don't want to eat it while I'm getting blasted by the wind. So we're going to go back to my brother's apartment and eat it there. And then we'll get out. Probably take the, the car out and do a little exploring because, yeah, it is a small town, but I just get worn out walking around. And, uh, yeah, so we'll take the car out in a little bit and go see some stuff. But first, let's go eat this green chili cheeseburger. Whew. Home sweet home. Let me show you my brother's apartment real quick. It's nice. Perfect for one person. Got a nice tapestry. Got a couch. Got a table and a TV. His nice synthetic leather Amazon chair. Nice kitchen. It's all concrete. All concrete. 
Got a room in here. Bathroom. Washer and dryer. The coolest thing about this place, I think, is the tile. But yeah, let's eat that hamburger. Alright, so the hamburger looks pretty damn good, I'd have to say. Has some green chilies on there, some cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, mustard, a, you know, a nice, simple, toasted, buttery bun. I think it's going to be good. Mm-hmm. I love hamburgers. Alrighty. After a quick bite to eat and a quick nap, we're out again. Let's explore a little bit of Marathon. This is interesting. Oh, the La Loma del Chivo. So I had to turn back around and look this place up. Looks like it's a guest house. La Loma del Chivo. 4.4 stars on booking.com. Let's see here. Don't look too bad. Kind of an interesting place to stay for sure. Wow. <laughs> this place has some Tory gates from Japan. Wow. You know, when I was in New Mexico, I was like, yeah, you can find some pretty weird shit out in the countryside of New Mexico. But I think that goes for just about any place in rural America. <laughs> there is some weird stuff out here. But you gotta drive around and, and uh, it doesn't take long to find it, that's for sure. I mean, half the places out here are doing okay, but then some of them are just run down. You don't know if people are living in them or not. I mean, it's pretty uh, sketchy looking places. That's nice. It's a super quiet and eerie place. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Not very many people out and about. You don't see anybody on their patio. You don't see kids on bicycles like you do in Indonesia. Nobody out here on the tennis courts. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. They got chickens here though, just like they do in Indonesia. They're locked up in a pen though. In Indonesia, you just see them running around everywhere. <laughs> That's a nice one. I like that house. I don't think there's been any football played on this field in a really long time. <laughs> nope. Ain't no way. And it said this was a early college high school. An early college high school. What does that even mean? Is that like a half high school, half community college? I don't know, but it's home of it's home to the Marathon Mustangs. Again, it is quiet out here. I haven't seen one other person outside their home. I've seen a few cars drive by, but I haven't seen one person. 
A lot of cactus. <laughs> a lot of cool looking cactus. But no people. That is awesome. <laughs> the library, the coolest place in Marathon. I think that one's dead. <laughs> the most fun in Marathon, find it at the library. The first schoolhouse. The oldest school building in Brewster County, built in 1888, used for all public meetings and all elections. Wow. So Marathon, I believe, was founded in 1882 by Albion Shepard. He was an early settler who came here and I don't know, I guess he was trying to start a new life. I don't know what you do during that time period. Like, okay, I'm just going to move out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and what he did, he set up a post office. He became the first postmaster. And he named Marathon Marathon after the, uh, the city Marathon in Greece. Apparently the terrain in Greece looked a lot like it did here. So that's why he named it Marathon. And a lot of the locals here call it Marathon. They don't call it Marathon like you would, like, you know, like the race. They call it Marathon. I'm probably saying that wrong too. I mean, some of these places look like they just closed the door, maybe locked the door, and just walked away. Still have some of the old wire rocking chairs up here that no telling how old they are there's a picture of Virgin Mary I guess up there I'm not really sure but hey here's a church hi Elaine this is Nick uh, I was just walking around Marathon, and I came across Eve's Garden B&B, &B and it said to give you a call, and you'll show me around. Okay. Avenue C. Oh, thank you. All right, thank you, Elaine. Bye-bye. So I just talked to Elaine, and she said, oh, I am out of town, but she said, feel free to let yourself in. Okay, let's go have a look. Look at this. Oh, wow. It's nice and warm in here. And this is beautiful. Look at this. This is all the color that's missing outside. It's all hidden in here. Show you this cat. It's just chilling up here. Hey buddy. Got yourself a nice perch up there. Oh, wow, what a place. This is too cool. The beer garden. This is this a restaurant too? Wow. Nice courtyard, nice little outside chilling area.
pretty cool place, right? Thank you, Elaine, for letting me uh, come in and have a look around. Ghost towns of Texas. Yes. Damn, there's this many ghost towns in Texas. Look how big this book is. Wow. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. I, I called Elaine and she was just like, oh, come on in. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, feel free. Yeah. Uh, this is just a bed and breakfast, huh? Yep. Yeah. Are there any guests staying now? Um, we got some uh, people coming in today. Okay. How many rooms? Uh, seven total. Seven total? Yeah. I don't, uh, could I see one room? See what one looks uh, like, possibly? Or yeah, do, sure. You can look in here. I just want to get an idea of what a room looks like. Yeah. These are, it's a beautiful uh, place. Thanks. We build out of a uh, little paper creep. Oh, wow. Recycled paper and, and cement. Oh, this and is all made out of. That this is what's it called again? Paper creep. Paper creep. Like paper or concrete. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Really cool. Yeah, so we built the whole place ourselves. Wow, two bedrooms. And there's a place kind of on the north side of town, real colorful. Uh, Alam, Al, La, La Lama? Or? La Lama, that's La, the south side actually. We're oh, I'm sorry, the, the south, side, yeah. okay, sorry, the, the south side. Yeah, yeah, we know those guys, and they're, um, they've got some Paper Creek stuff there too. Mm -hmm. well, their stuff is a little more eclectic, kind of all over the place. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We just got the towel over. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hey. You the guard dogs? Yeah. Huh? Try to get her out of that house. <laughs> <laughs> Running after people? Yeah. She doesn't care. Cool. I appreciate it. Sure. Have a good one. You can look back in there too. Oh, I went back there already and looked okay. around. Cool. I mean, I noticed there was just another big room over there. I didn't want to. Yeah, that's like, so that was the original house that was on the property. Uh -huh. We bought it. And then, um, yeah, and so we do. Uh, Sometimes do um, we'll serve food in there sometimes and stuff for breakfast. Mm, stuff. Okay. Um, just depending. Hi, buddy. That's What's lady. your name? Lady. Lady. Mm -hmm. Hey, lady. All right. Appreciate it. Have a good one. <laughs> the Eve Garden B and B in Marathon, Texas. Come check it out. And I imagine whenever you see anything like this in Marathon, it's probably owned by the Gage Hotel. I'm just guessing. This is a pretty cool little area. It looks like to come out and chill. You can play, you know, you can play your chess, you can play sand volleyball. They have some beanbag tosser games over there, some recliners. There's the volleyball. You play checkers too. Horseshoes. Oh my gosh, I haven't played a horseshoes in years. Let me show you a real Texas game right over here. It's pretty simple. They got two stakes in the ground. One right here. One over here. Oh, they call it boche. Lawn bowling. We just called it horseshoes growing up. But boom. You got the horseshoe, and basically all you want to do is ring it around the stake in the ground. Oh, for one. Oh, for two. Ooh, I hit it. But I didn't wrap it. You gotta wrap it around. These things are pretty heavy too. There it is. Oh, right over it. Right over it. But again, I kind of feel like I'm in marathon at the wrong time of year. I'm sure in April. And anytime after April, really, when it gets warmer, 
and everything is in full bloom and it's warmer. It's probably pretty nice out here. Not that it's not nice right now, but it's just quiet. <laughs> There's just nobody around. Looks like this is the uh, the back side of the hotel, maybe. Alrighty, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this little walk through Marathon, Texas today. Uh, in the next video, or in an upcoming video, I will do a full preview and showing of the Gage Hotel. You know, I'll wait until next video for that, but for this video, it's over. It's done. I think we saw enough of Marathon today. Uh, there's a few other small towns like Marathon around here. There's Alpine, there's Fort Davis, uh, there's obviously Big Bend, and so there might be two or three other videos outside of the the Gage Hotel video coming up. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, thanks for joining me, guys. Hope wherever you are, you're doing well and you're staying safe. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.